Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We have seen a lot of customer adopting Cognito service on AWS for application authentication and authorization. There are some use cases where they already utilize third-party identity management like Microsoft AD or Gmail, but still they want to utilize Cognito for authentication and authorization. We helped several customers achieve those challenges through Cognito Federation features. Today, we will share our experience on how to set up a Cognito user pool with Azure AD as identity provider to perform single sign-on service. I will let Han run a quick demo. Hey, hello everyone. My name is Han and I, I am a software engineer at Ascending. Today, I'll be introducing how to integrate AWS Cognito with Azure AD to perform single sign-on. And let's start with introducing some basic concepts. Uh, Amazon Cognito provides authentication and authorization, and also user management for your apps. Your user can sign in directly with a username and password or through a third party, such as Facebook, Amazon, Google, or Apple. And for today's example, we're using Microsoft Azure as an editing provider through the SAML standard. And uh, Microsoft Azure AD is a cloud-based identity and access management service, which helps users sign in and access resources. And in order to have a better understanding of the workflow, uh, I'll walk you through the authentication process first. So uh, this is the SSO workflow. And the first step, the user accesses an application, which redirects redirects him to a page hosted by AWS Cognito. And followed by the first step, AWS Cognito redirects the user to the identity provider, uh, in this case, uh, Microsoft Azure AD, uh, asking for authentication. This is the same old request uh, AWS, uh, AWS Cognito sent to Azure AD. And the third step, the browser redirects the user to an SSO URL. The user either has an existing active browser session with the identity provider or establishes one by logging into the identity provider. And Azure AD creates the authentication response in the XML document format, and the result is passed back to the service provider. And this is the same authentication response here. And the final step, the service provider, which already knows the identity provider and has a certificate fingerprint, retrieves the authentication response and validates it using the certificate fingerprint. The identity of the user is established and the user is provided with app access. And now that you are more familiar with the workflow, let's get started with creating an enterprise application in Azure first. So um, go to the Microsoft Azure homepage. Um, you can find Azure Active uh, Directory on the left side panel. Click it and go to the Enterprise Applications. Click on Add New Application. I've already add, uh, added a new one for, uh, for the demo. So just click it and go to the Lexi app uh, gallery experience and click on non-gallery application, then type in your um, application name. 
So after you created the um, application, uh, go to the application here, and then go to the single sign-on configuration page. So you have already created a uh, Microsoft AD application, and please download the Federation Metadata XML in the SAML signing certificate section. We will use this XML file in the Cognito configuration. All right, let's switch to uh, Cognito. So go to your AWS account, go to Cognito and create a user pool. I've already created one. Uh, just use the default settings and go to your user pool. So um, the first thing we want to do is to add Microsoft Azure as a identity provider. So go to the identity provider section here choose SAML and select the file XML file that you just downloaded and add a provider name and then create a provider. And then you will see in the active SAML provider section, you will have a identity provider right here. And go to, after you have created a identity provider, go to attribute mapping and match uh, map the attributes that you want to created in your user pool. You can find the SAML attribute in um, the single sign page in Microsoft Azure uh, right here. Click the edit and you will see um, all the att attribute address uh, with the claim names. And after, uh, after uh, you have done the uh, SAML attribute mapping, uh, create, create an app client. Uh, I've already created one. So uh, just create one with the default settings and go to the app client settings here. And uh, on the first section here, choose the identity provider name that you have created in the identity providers. And um, please set the auth2 settings as showing the screen. And in the callback URL sections, you can set as whatever you want. You can set it as localhost um, for testing, or you can just set, set it as Google or the app URL that you are creating. And um, after uh, uh, config the uh, Cognito, go to the general settings. We still need some information to config the identifier in the Microsoft Azure. So, um, the first information is the pool ID here in the general setting. And the second information is the domain name in the app integrations uh, section. So add a domain prefix. Um, as long as uh, it's, uh, it's valid, uh, you can add like a customized uh, domain uh, prefix. So, and then go back to Microsoft Azure and go to your application and go to the single sign-on page. Here, we need to config the basic sample configuration section. Uh, click edit, and you will see here, we have identify and reply URL. So the identifier, uh, you just need to copy the pool ID of your user pool uh, to the section here, and please form, uh, follow the format so it's you are in Amazon, Cognito, SP, the region, and the pool ID. And uh, for the reply URL, just copy the, um, the, the domain prefix and then paste here into um, the section before the auth. And uh, your reply URL will be HTTPS, your, uh, your domain prefix followed by auth your origin and the um, amazoncognito.com sample to an ID response. And um, after uh, config the settings, both in Microsoft Azure and Cognito, and now you're all set. You can start testing your integration by using the hosted UI that Cognito provides and logging with your Azure AD credentials. So click on the launch hosted UI 
and it will redirect you to the hosting UI that uh, Cognito provides. Click on your application and it will redirect you to um, Microsoft AD and login with your credentials. and check the code on your Authenticator app here. Um, you should be redirect to your callback URL, which in my case is google.com, and with the access token stored in the ID token parameter. And furthermore, you can customize your login experience with your preferred front-end uh, framework, like Angular, React.js, and with AWS, Amplify. And that's it. Uh, back to you, Will. Thank you, Hong. If you're interested in learning more about set up a Cognito Federation with Amplify or other topics, please leave comments below. Thank you and stay tuned. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.